And on top of that, if you... <laughs> Okay, so what we have here is a little AM and VHF radio. Uh, not, not your standard AM, FM radio. This is a AM broadcast and then VHF monitor. So you can see there's a little picture of a, you know, artwork for a little police car on there. And it was a realistic patrolman. Um, customer sent this in with a CV radio to see if I can get this thing restored and up and working right. Um, AM actually seems okay. Uh, I just went through and tweaked the alignment a little bit and that seemed to have brought that up and uh, the VHF uh, it, it does have some problems it's matter of fact let me it switched over now realize <laughs> most everything nowadays is done with digital communications um, you know trunking systems but uh, I actually did hear a little bit off the local two meter repeater a little uh, while ago and I have heard some of actually Carroll and Frederick County Emergency Services right around here. If I can get the problem to not blank out the entire receiver. It's almost like it crashes. It just squelches the entire receiver. station there and oh my god is this tuning dial is why I'm using two fingers or a finger and a thumb because talk about touchy because it goes from like 145 to like 180 oh there was a station ID you see it blanked out <laughs> Yeah, that was uh, Mars code. They do that every uh, 15 minutes to uh, for station identification. There was somebody talking there for a second. Like I say, it comes blaring in for a second and then it just shuts down. But uh, in any case, so title of the video. and The wire is actually, the, I have hooked up the antenna for the VHF. The AM uses an internal antenna. And the uh, VHF, the antenna is attached to the rear cover, which then just a little spring clip in here it attaches. But the title of the video, smallest schematic in the world. Well, yeah, you know, customers said, you know, could you work on it? I said, well, the only limiting thing going to be really is if it needs, you know, actual diagnostics, I'm going to need a schematic. He said, well, there's one in the rear cover. It's kind of small. Well, he was not shitting. Short of them putting a micro dot in the backside of this thing, I do not think you could physically print a schematic much smaller, other than a micro dot. <laughs> So I don't, I don't know if, if uh, realistic or whoever made this, this radio for realistic, was trying to pull, be funny as a joke when they made these schematics and put them in the back covers of these things. But it's this tiny little square right here, and there's a magnifying glass sitting on it for a reason. Yeah, that entire circuit board and all the components on it are on that tiny little piece of white paper right there, which is the schematic. So, now this is a 10 time beta mag. Okay, I, I used to work in a printing industry years and years ago, and uh, so I used to be a stripper. No, not that kind of stripper, damn it. Uh, film assembly um, was a two color and then eventually a four color stripper, but did film assembly. And I used to work on really high quality stuff. They were mainly uh, medical journals and so, you know, me and this magnifying glass have, uh, you know, thousands and thousands of hours <laughs> of very close intimacy. Um, I spent a lot of time looking through that tiny little hole right there. But uh, in any case, at 10 times magnification, even it's not enough. I actually had to crack out a microscope. Now, the lowest power I could go in a microscope was 20 times. And 20 times is just about right what you need. 
I don't know if I'll be able to. I actually had this halfway focused earlier. Yeah, that's not too bad. Ah, it just went out. It was focused for a split second. There we go. So you can see, it's actually, the printing's actually not bad. For as small as it is, they actually did a surprisingly good job of maintaining good print quality. Because, I mean, you can see, now here's a, <laughs> I'll bring under the microscope, this is a, a 0.5 um, mechanical pencil as a pointer. But, I mean, you know, so you can see pencil lead. <laughs> A piece of 0.5 pencil lead is larger in diameter than, you know, the, the resistors are in this thing. And any of the type, I mean, wow. <laughs> so let me move the magnifying glass. So, there it is. That's the entire... This glare is going to kill me. But, yeah, here's my finger. <laughs> I mean, really, people? Who, who in the hell had the bright idea of, of putting a schematic in the back of this? I mean, wow. Uh, the thing is, they actually, like I say, they actually had to do a good job at printing that because getting fine line type clear with very sharp, you know, edges at this scale is actually, it's, it's rather hard. So that had to be a, a photo print. Um, it does look, it may, be, it may have been photo lithography. But, uh, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's just... I just saw that, and the first, the, the honestly, the the first thing that shot through my head as soon as I saw that was, you have got to be shitting me. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty good at reading small stuff. Now I wear glasses, but you know, I look over top of my glasses and put something within you know a few inches of my eye. I mean, I can see some really, really small stuff. I mean, I'm really good with little tiny parts usually, but I'm here to tell you, there's no human human way possible. You know, I could touch this thing to my eyeball and I still couldn't read it. I was like, I mean, wow. But they did give me a schematic. Um, now, the only thing I've got to try to do is I'm going to have to... I tried using the, the camera on my phone. And yeah, it's it takes good pictures. But trying to, you know, with, to use the phone printer app, I just can't get the image quality. Because what I want to do is just take a really fine picture of this. And I have a, a really good digital camera with a uh, lens zoom, not digital zoom. It actually has a built-in telephoto lens on it. Um, and I can do macro shots with that really, really uh, small stuff. I mean, I can blow up this little area just right here to the size of a sheet of paper. But uh, I need to take a really good high-quality you know, still image of that and uh, try blowing that up on a computer. Because <laughs> you know, if it was just a matter of recapping this radio... Um, you know, I can pretty much, yeah, just working on radios, I can guesstimate what's, you know, and actually I've already guessed me, uh, FM, 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 and actually it was FM, 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 uh, AM, AM, uh, I missed one somewhere describing that, but anyhow, I've already figured out what most of the coils are, you know, the trans IF cans are for, but, uh, yeah, I mean, Wow, you compare <laughs> usually the schematics <laughs> larger, you know, than the actual thing you're working on. Uh, wow, <laughs> like I say, hey, you almost you almost have to think, was that a joke? I mean, what did they expect shops to have a a gigantic twenty power microscope or you know magnifying lens that they can uh, read the schematic? I mean, wow, come on, guys. <laughs> So, I just thought I'd show that, because, man, I, I thought that was rather funny. I mean, that's, you know, did the people that make this thing, was that a practical joke? Because, <laughs> yeah, very funny. <laughs> you got me. So, there you go.